Hello and welcome to another exclusive review by me, Alex Balfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz. We just hit 60 million minutes viewed on YouTube with the number one reviewer of theatre in the UK in Las Vegas. And this week, we're in Southampton at the Mayflower for Peter Pan 2019 with an all-star cast. As pantomimes go, well, casting doesn't get bigger or better than this. This has to be one of the best lineups for Kudos Pantomimes 30 plus pantos this year. It is quite exceptional. What's interesting about this show is we've got three key singers in the principal cast, Jamie Hensley. We've got Marty Pello, who leads the cast from Wet, 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 and Darren Day, also a West End singer. So how do they all fit in? I think that's probably the problem with all-star lineups is jamming them into the show. This show looks beautiful, sounds great, and the lighting and scenery is really one of the best kudos pantomimes you'll see this year. But let's face it, the children... Don't go for that. They go for the big belly laughs. And that comes courtesy of the Grumbleweeds who steal it this year. They really do shine brightly in this show. When on stage, there are true belly laughs. People rocking in their seats like the good old days of variety with Robin and James just hitting the back of the net with their fantastic common timing again can't be trained this has learned over a lifetime of comedy and standing in front of audiences and it's beautiful to see Darren Day as Smee somehow doesn't work as well and originally he was meant to play Hook and that he did very well last year up north down south playing the comedy lead that is a tough job to compete with the Brian Connollys the Joe Pasquales and the Matt Slacks where Darren Day does shine is his impressions a great job of doing the likes of Pasquale he gives it his all, and he's certainly a star who deserves his place on the stage. Marty Pello is the big name on the poster that everybody wants to see from Wet, Wet, Wet. And for the first time, we get to hear jokes about Wet, Wet, Wet. They weren't in the script before, so nice to see that he's back down a little bit on that. Also... He looked like he was having the time of his life, which is fantastic. He may not have the best voice in the world, but he's a megastar and headlines this pantomime with ease. Jamie Hensley is a disappointment in this, not because of his talent or himself, the fact that he's not really in it very much. Almost invisible in Act 1, it's a shame. Certainly less to do in this, probably because there's more people to cram in, which is a shame. Kudos to the female vocalists in the show. Cassie Compton is a West End legend, as is Misha Richardson, and it's unsurprising, along with Kelly Gnack, that they are flawless singers. They have the pick of the crop at Kudos, and they're able to get these West End leading ladies to steal the show vocally, and they do. Hugely impressive. Also, lovely to see the Tim Buck tumblers back in the show. This just wonderful old special. This really is a variety show. When you've got the impressions by Darren Day, who's excellent at them, you've got the variety stars of the Grumble Weeds, you've got killer vocals from people like Jamie and Cassie and Kelly and Misha, and you've got mega stars like Marty. You can't ask for any more. The Timbuk 2 tumblers are a beautiful addition to this variety bill. In terms of story, it sticks vaguely to the J.M. Barry plot, but let's face it, Kudos Pantomimes aren't renowned for worrying about that. They worry about packing in entertainment and that they do great, mostly down to the Grumbleweeds, who, as I say, are fantastic. Some killer moments. Their bit with the record player going wrong and the tape player and the lights and the sound is my favourite piece of panto ever. It is glorious. These guys do it better than anyone in the world because it's theirs and they've done it forever. And this is where your money is spent. What is probably an expensive night out with tickets around 40 quid for the best seats. There's an expectation and rightly so that this should be quality entertainment these guys are class and deserve their star billing in one of the biggest theatres in Britain and of course the flying of Jamie as Peter Pan is always lovely for the kids and a beautiful moment Peter Pan runs until January 5th, 2019. One of the best in the country this year. Expensive, but worth it. You get an all-star cast rammed into this most beautiful of pantomimes. 